For a moment, I would like everybody to picture two scenarios I'm about to describe. Scenario one, it's the middle of summer and you and your family want to spend the day at the beach. You miss the sand between your toes and that beautiful sea breeze. But you can't go. Why, you ask? Well, it's because the UV rays from the sun are hitting the earth with such intensity that it's not safe to be outside for more than a couple of hours. And the worst part is, if current warming trends continue, what I just described will be the best case scenario. Here's scenario two. Imagine a world where 4.5 million, 4.5 million premature deaths and 1.4 million hospitalizations are prevented. The air is clear of pollution particles because fossil fuel plants have shut down. The risk of respiratory, cardiovascular, and heart-related illnesses have decreased dramatically. Imagine a world where, when you look up at the night sky, you see not one, not two, but hundreds of twinkling stars. Unfortunately, we are leaning towards the first scenario. Right now, the world is like a boulder on a cliff, rapidly being pushed toward the point of no return. If it falls, our planet will be plagued with severe droughts, higher intensity hurricanes, extreme weather, and so much more. And the thing is, we are the ones pushing this boulder by pumping 51 billion tons of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere every year. The accumulated heat is equivalent to 600,000 Hiroshima-class bombs exploding every single day. Earlier, the issue was denial. But now the science is crystal clear. A runway at the London Luton Airport melted because of the extreme heat. Australian wildfires have burned through more than 25 million acres. That's 19 million football fields, raising entire communities to the ground and killing billions of native animals. If we want to keep our planet from the sixth mass extinction, we have to act. Not next year, not next month, not even next week. Today. Now. As an individual, nobody can solve this crisis by themselves. Everything in this world is strongly connected, from the individual level to the industry level. So if everyone contributes to global warming, everyone also has the power to change something, to reverse it. So to all the students, teachers, and principals, we can play a huge role right in our schools. The US Department of Energy reported that schools around the nation annually spend $8 billion on energy and emit an estimated 72 million tons of carbon dioxide. In addition to this, 530,000 tons of food is wasted a year, accounting for almost 2 million metric tons of the carbon equivalent of methane due to improper decomposition in landfills. Emissions also come from buses, HVAC, and more. Schools play a much more important role in our journey to green invincibility than most people think. And so I began my pursuit to make the Wake County Schools greener. As I studied and interviewed several teachers and staff from my school, three things stood out. Resources, time, and budget. Resource constraints to audit the various contributing causes of global warming in schools and the time and budget to select and implement green solutions, which come with a green premium for most alternatives. So that got me thinking, what can I, a middle school student do to make our schools greener? On some deliberation, I decided to create an app and name it Awake after my school's county, Wake County. The goal of AWAKE is to help individual schools and the county make more sustainable choices in almost every aspect of the public school system. The app is designed to enable the users to complete a green audit that consists of over 20 questions along four categories. Food, water, electricity, and HVAC. 
Each of these categories has a certain carbon footprint and therefore a certain impact on the environment. Based on the negative impact that each action can reduce, each question has a different point value. For example, this first question, does your school run on inefficient lighting, has a point value of 5. So if the user clicks no, they earn 5 points towards their green score. On the other hand, if the user clicks yes for the question, is the majority of your school's food sourced from local farms, they earn 3 and a half points towards their green score. Because switching to efficient lighting has a bigger positive impact than most of the school's food coming from local farms. Based on the audit and all of this information, AWAKE then creates a green score, showing the areas that are green and the areas that need improvement. Let's use this test school as an example. 67% of the school is green and 33% is gray. This school is strong in saving electricity and implementing eco-friendly practices toward their food. On the other hand, water contributes only 5% and HVAC contributes 12% towards their green score. With this information, the school now knows which areas they're doing well in and how much improvement they need. But what next? Well, Awake also provides the user with a list of eco-friendly suppliers and products, which are Energy Star, EPA, and SmartWay certified to enable the school system to make more sustainable choices at each and every stage. Starting from the everyday writing of schools, to transportation, to the building materials for new schools, which will be added in the near future. This next part is something I found very interesting and wanted to share with you all. Right now, schools are pretty much the same since the 1900s. Take a look. This is a classroom now, and this was a classroom then. Not much change. We need to start making our schools and classrooms 21st century worthy. Productive, healthy, safe, and fun. Interestingly, all of these have a high correlation with increased sustainability. While there are still many important social problems around the world that need utmost attention, the climate crisis will affect everyone without bias. Remember that. The tools and technology are available to make this process easy and impactful. It's up to us to use them, join hands, and multiply forces to fight climate change. So let's start. Talk to your school. Talk to your county. Communicate this issue. Tell them that it's time to take collective action. Awake will be released into the public in around two months' time. Let's do our bit and reduce our school's carbon footprints. We cannot live our lives as if they are our own, because the lives we live will create a future that cannot be undone. Right now, we think of the climate crisis as environmental. Just weather. Nothing we can do about it because we don't run the big companies. But whatever you say, the next generation, even future you, will retort, where in the world were you back then? Where in the world was I back then? In the words of Mahatma Gandhi, be the change that you wish to see in the world. Thank you.